Hey guys, it's Troy. Hey Matthew. And we are here for Giraffe Battle 2023. Giraffe Battle? What do I mean? How about what 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 giraffe? How about giraffe pens? I tell you what, guys, giraffes are one of my all-time favorite animals. I mean, they're funny looking. God had a great sense of humor when he made the giraffe. Had a long neck. Yeah. And you know what? They're beautiful creatures. They're fun to feed and touch and to pet. Um, I've always liked giraffes. So, I was um, looking at pens one day. And, you know, I've run across some pen vendors that are actually here local to me. We live in North Carolina. And uh, I used to live in the big city of Raleigh, North Carolina, for years. And we go to the, the Triangle Pen Show in Raleigh every year. And we go up to the D.C. Pen Show almost every year. And, you know, there's some vendors that we see from time to time, and I've had a chance to talk to, interact with, and sometimes even had uh, online discussions. So we both tend to like, um, well, what should we call them? Uh, independent or custom pen makers? Custer, custom makers. Yeah, custom makers. You know, we've ordered a lot in the past from uh, people like Jim Hines, and we've uh, ordered some from Mike Green. You'll hear his name an awful lot during this video. Um, and also wanted to talk about Joe Little a little bit with Little Pen Designs. I, I see Joe at the pen shows all the time. I've looked at his table. Some stuff has really piqued my curiosity. been following him online, on his Instagram. I'll put links for all that stuff. Uh, his Etsy shop. I'm subscribed to his Etsy shop. And, and I've seen um, people that actually you would know uh, in the pen community have ordered from um, Joe over at Little Pen Designs. So, uh, we both have very similar pens. One that I acquired last year, and you got one a couple weeks ago. Just this week, this Wait, last, just within the last week. It was last Friday. Yeah, so it was within the last week um, that uh, he was doing a video uh, with our friend Larry with Larry's Fountain Pens. We'll put a link to that video, by the way, in the description of the video. Uh, that you can see the interview that Matthew did, and you can see his choice uh, that he selected for a giraffe pen. So it's very beautiful. It is. So let's talk a little bit uh, about let's do let's do mine first only because we got mine first. Yeah. So okay? in chronological order. Yeah, we're just gonna go in chronological order. So some time ago, um, I, I've been checking out little pen designs often, and he actually had one that I really was interested in, but it sold out before I could place the order. Uh, so as I so I go back to his Etsy shop and this one right here. This, to me, really intrigued me, okay? Now, this is an acrylic that's available that pen makers tend to get as a blank, and they tend to make. So it's, this is, I do not believe that this is something that Joe Little uh, created for the acrylic. But what Joe does have, he does have his own fountain pen line, and he has the Vista model, which is what this is. So when I saw this, uh, it's it's a simple acrylic with no cap to it, but he has his specifications for his Vista fountain pen. And I went ahead and ordered it because, number one, giraffe. And second, the purple was really cool. Purple is actually my favorite color. So I went ahead and ordered this. Now, when they come, um, my boys love, for some reason, um, they have they each have their own laptop computer, and what they've done over the past several years is put stickers on their covers of their laptop. I wouldn't put stickers on a computer, but, you know, my boys do. You no, you don't need to. But, you know, stickers like this right here. You'll find a lot of custom makers, a lot of businesses, come up with their own individual little stickers. So what Joe sent me was uh, something akin to a jewelry box that you would get from a jeweler. And inside, it's, it's nothing special, okay? But... He, he did have a nice little note that he wrote me, and he had a little uh, pen sleeve in there, and then he had his card, and on the back side, his information about the pen itself. So, what I got was the Vista in a polished silver, uh, purple giraffe, custom fountain, um, and with a Yovo number 6 nib on it. So, and then just a you know, nice little 
heel there. So that's what Joe sent me along with that pen. So, um, and Joe and I had messaged back and forth uh, after I had gotten this pen, uh, you know, via Instagram Instant Messenger. So I ordered mine, um, my number six Yovo nib in a 1.1 stub because I've been finding that I kind of like my writing with a 1.1 stub. And I've been doing that more and more here lately. Well, this is the 1.1 stub. What's in here is not a 1.1 stub. So I'll tell you that little story. Uh, one of the things when I filled it, and I brought my ink bottles here. One of my favorite inks happens to be from Birmingham Pens. And this is a little older because I know he's changed some of his names. But Andy Wall Warhol's Pop Art Purple is a really nice purple ink from Birmingham Pens. And I, I've liked this ink enough so I've got a whole other bottle of it besides this one on the shelf. So I said, purple giraffe, I'll put in some of my favorite purple ink. When I did, one of the things that you have to look out for when you buy pens that have a cream or a white color and you're dipping it into ink to fill it. Look what happened to my purple giraffe. Got stained. It did. It got stained from that purple ink. All right. Now I was happy with the pen. I liked the quality of the construction. I loved the color of it. I really enjoyed how this one wrote. So as Joe and I were messaging afterwards, I said, "Hey, you know, everything worked really good. The only downside is how it stains that that ink stained this." So Joe said, "Hey, that's no problem. I've got some leftover materials. I'll tell you what. I'll make you a whole another section." I'm like. Dude, you don't have to do that. <laughs> he said, no, I'd be happy to do it. And I said, you know what? As long as you're going to, you want to do that? Fine. I, I won't turn it down. But as long as you're going to do that, sell me another nib. So I said, you know, give me like, I've got the 1.1 stub. Sell me a medium Yovo nib. So I'll have a nib in each one. And lo and behold... He said, no, 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 I'll just include it. No big deal. Now, that costs him some money out of his pocket. And there's a reason for that, I am sure. Number one, I'm here talking about it, aren't I? And number two, he knows that he'll probably get some future business. Now, it's still not perfect, but it's better on the standing because I tried a different ink this time. I went ahead this time, and I still did the purple. My One of my second favorite purple inks, Waterman Tender Purple. So, I have a really good writing functional pen with two sections and two different nibs that I can use. One stained, one not so much. So, the Vista model. I'll tell you what we're going to do is I'll put some statistics up. As a matter of fact, I'll put up, um, I'll create some statistics that to include for you of the Vista model. And uh, so you'll get to know the the, the the length, the width, all that happy stuff that we normally would include in a pen review. So I'll include that. And we'll do the same thing for Matthew's pen that he's about to tell you about. So go ahead. It's all yours. Uh, so he he here's the story about uh, how I got it. So what happened was Larry, he invited me on a Zoom meeting a couple, couple weeks ago. February 16th, I think it was. And, like, halfway through the thing, well, not exactly halfway, probably about, like, 20, 30 minutes in, he just, since Mike Green was on there, he told me to pick a pen from Mike Green's website. So, I went onto his website, and he said, choose any pen you want, I'll ship it out, he'll ship it out to your house, and I'll pay for it. Then, my face was kind of like, it was. Go watch the video. Yeah, if you if you watch the video, you can see how shocked I was. Because his pins are not exactly cheap. They're fine material, so... Well, let's talk about that in, in, in terms of cheap. Um, I can tell you that that Vista Giraffe was right around $150, $155. And I probably have some data saved on that. So if I've got the, the graphics that I saved, I'll put that up there so you can see. And, and look at his other Vista models uh, that are running about that price. And Mike's website is what, what about what? Um, his about, about the same. Yeah, his website is about the same. This one, what, do I tell them the price or no? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so this one was $150. 
and about all of his pins are 150 or higher. The only pins that are cheaper than 150 are basically ball points, which are the less amazing pin. <laughs> the school pins that most people use that haven't discovered the greatness of fountain pins. That's so, one way of putting it. In my words. But, so Larry, he said pick a pin from Mike Green's website. It was between, well, the first pin I saw was the um, giraffe pin that um, my dad got. And the purple giraffe. I was thinking about getting that, but then I decided not to be exactly like my dad. So then I looked at the um, the mistletoe pin. Which was another very beautiful pen. Yeah, it was. It was a, a good-looking pen. You had good taste either way. Yeah. But then I decided to look at this one. Which, it was a tough decision. Like, sh just limiting it down, narrowing it down was the hardest part. But I came out choosing the Cobalt Blue Giraffe. That is a good-looking pen right there. That blue is, is, is amazing-looking. Brilliant blue. Nice, beautiful color on it. But... It's the same resin as this one, just different color. Right. And, and also it, different shape. He also said that Mike, uh, uh, Mike actually had a purple yeah. as well. So, and I think he also had that the uh, not copper. I don't think he called it copper or it was a brass, but um, uh, and basically brown, more close to a, an actual yeah. giraffe spot. Yeah. That was a good looking one too. Yeah. But yeah, he had three different giraffe pens, so same resin, different colors. Go ahead. Yeah. And then. I came out choosing the cobalt blue giraffe, which my favorite color is blue. <laughs> I just love the color blue. I just love all different shades of blue. And he also gave you the, the choice of what colors, color schemes for the nib. Yeah. So, you know, he, he had some nibs that were bi-tone, that were gold tone, were polished silver, and yeah. you picked? Um, I picked the polished silver, or was it the stilled? Yeah, that well, the yeah, you know, the the polished um, stainless steel, and you know, go, you can go ahead and show that. Yeah. And now here, here's one difference. Um, Mike uses mostly Bach nibs. Yeah, this was a number six Bach. Right, and you, uh, you probably got a medium. Yeah, and you know, it was uh, a number six Bach medium nib. Right. And whereas look at the shine. Whereas Joe from Little Pen Designs uses Yovo nibs, but I know Mike also uh, he can he can actually do uh, he can also do Yovo nibs, but Kirk Spear from Pen Realm has tuned all of Mike's nibs for him for the Bach nibs. Oh. So he had a nib included that was professionally tuned uh, before it ever went into a pen. Yeah, and there was a. And there was a, uh, didn't I choose the policy gold at first? But you, you wanted the gold, right. And yeah. he and Mike said he was out of gold and wanted to know what your second choice was. Yeah. So, I chose the number six, the Bach number six, polished silver. And it's still a really good looking yeah. nib in that pen. Yeah, it really that, is. It just goes together good. And then, here's the ink that we had inked it up with, so. Yeah, so he, he chose A nice what, looking blue. And he chose what? Con, Con Pecky. Now. Mike wrote you a note, as he tends to do. I mean, I've gotten a couple of pens from, from Mike Green as well. And uh, I've actually shown some of them here on this channel. And uh, I got some nice, big, fat ebonite pens that, that Mike had done, also with Bach nibs. And uh, he hand writes a note, just like Joe wrote me a little note. Um, Mike tends to write almost a letter. Yeah, he wrote uh, a four-page. Yeah, sometimes several pages. And uh, so he uses the pen that you purchase to test the pen and to write with it so you know that you're getting a pen that writes well and Mike uh, takes the time to go, you know, that didn't write the way I wanted to so let's make sure we get uh, a perfect nib in it before it goes out the door. So that's one thing I really appreciate that Mike does. Yeah. It's a personal touch. But Mike, he wrote the letter in this ink. He, he, he put Con Pecky in it as his test ink. And, you, and that's not the reason I chose it. The reason I chose it is because it's so a really nice blue. I was just looking for some of my favorite blue inks, as my dad did with this. Right. Oh, didn't you say that this was... That was my first yeah. choice, was that one, right. And then this one, after you got a second one. Well, wait, was this your first or second? That, that was the first one, and that, that stained. Yeah. Um, and so I, we went with the... so, But that's not the ink I put in the second oh. one, though. So this is the one that you put in this. Right. 
And Beautiful then, ink. It just stained it. <laughs> yeah, and then this is the one that she put in this. Yep, that's one that is on my, my second go around. The Angry Violet Tindress Tinder Purple. Yeah, Waterman, Waterman Tender Purple. Yeah, yeah, very long name. Well, show what Mike also included here. Because um, I've got two of these laying around here. And uh, Mike, I believe his wife, makes yeah. these pen sleeves. Yeah, I think his wife makes them. And uh, she does a nice little terry cloth pen sleeve uh, that they come in. And she, she chose a very nice, is that kind of like... It's like a, a seafoam green. Yeah, seafoam green. And then... For the thing that you tie it with, just nice. Just a nice ribbon. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice green ribbon to right. go along with seafoam. So we got three of those now in the house because we've. This is our third in the family, uh, Mike Green pen. Yeah, but then this is how you tie it up. You put the pin in, and then you fold down. To right there, go in. Once, then you go through like mm -hmm. yeah, this. Right, tie it off, and yeah, there you get a nice little pen sleeve. Yep, and it's very nice material. It so, reminds me of like washcloth, kind of. Right. So, we got two giraffe pens, two different custom makers, both of whom we like. I mean, I, I've always liked talking to Joe uh, when I've seen him at pen yeah, shows. Because we've that, never we've never had the chance to meet Mike Green in person, but we've been on a bunch of Zoom calls between the two of us uh, with uh, with our friend Larry with um, Larry's Fountain Pens, and so um, Mike is out of Minnesota. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll put both websites for both of these vendors uh, so that you can go check out their selection and you can make your own choices. You can't go wrong um, with a custom maker when they've been in business for a little while. Mike Green, really, this is only his really second year making fountain pens, and he's done a spectacular yeah, job with all the pens that I've gotten and others who have become fans of his as well. Um, Mike has done great. Joe makes some quality pens, and he's made a good reputation for himself as well. And I think you're going to um, like anything that they put out. The Vista model, this is the only one that I own um, by, uh, by Little Pen Designs. And I'm sure that I'm going to be seeing him again, not only online. Actually, he's got a pen out now that I'm looking at going... I wouldn't mind. I just got to be prudent, especially because I just bought a small collection of pens um, used that are going to show up here at the beginning of uh, this this week. So I just got to be careful about you know my budgeting. And uh, so we've got pass that along. These are these are very similar but different. I asked Mike. I said, Hey Mike, what what's your model name for this? And he said, I, I don't really have model names yet. Um, he said, you can just call it Matthew's Giraffe Pen. <laughs> so if somebody requests a, a Matthew's Giraffe Pen, he knows exactly what you're talking about, okay? Or if um, somebody from a Little Pen Designs, like if somebody wants to buy from them, uh, they right. can either say the Troy LaPlante Giraffe Pen. Yeah, well, you can, you can ask for his Vista model. And you can get that Vista model in pretty much any Wait. acrylic. Oh, so the, the Vista, they have this, like, the Vista, but, like, do they have it in, like, this, too? Well, it, it depends on what he has in stock for acrylics and what he's made. Um, but when you go on his uh, little pen designs on their website or on his Etsy shop, um, you're going to find that he has the Vista model in various uh, acrylics. And he's got one out now that's a candy nougat. It's a really good-looking one that I really enjoy. All right, so these pens are very similar, but a little bit different. Matthew showed you a little bit. See, this is more of a flat top, yeah, more reminiscent to me of a Schaefer flat top. Mine's more of a and, and his is right. His is more rounded, uh, beveled and rounded. Same with and, the back too. And the same end. That's right for the finial, and then the same at the the tail end, the butt end. Oh, no, it's thinking. very same. Yeah. See, there's a good shot right yeah, there. Yeah, that's a better so one. So you got more of a flat end here. Um, whereas a nice rounded, Mike did a really good job on that. Mike polished his up a lot more, I think, than than Joe did. On mine, the color is more like apparent. Well, right. Like, well, is that the word to use? It's more vibrant. Yeah. You know, the the cobalt blue is a lot more vibrant. Yeah. But like like you said, Mike has this in the purple as well. Last we saw. Yeah. Still on his website, and so, I mean, you can. Oh, hey, let's let's tell this too. For those of you who ever want to go check out mikespenfun.com, when you go to order, 
Use discount code TROY, T-R-O-Y, and you'll get 15% off your order. So Mike wanted to extend that to all of our viewers, that anybody who orders from Mike Green, he doesn't have an e-commerce solution set up yet, but when you contact him to purchase it, mention that you heard it from us with discount code TROY, and you'll get 15% off your order. Hey, Joe, you get some catching up to do, buddy. I, I, I can't send business your way at a discount, but I can send them full price. <laughs> so, either way, you're going to get a decent quality pen. So, Wait, I wonder if Larry used code Troy. I doubt it, because you know what? Larry can use code Larry. Oh, he uses code? <laughs> Larry, same thing. He did the same thing with Larry. Oh. All right, so um, there you go. That's our Giraffe Battle 2023. I think mine won. Well, it's not... Well, we're not done with the battle yet. Here's what we're going to show you. We're going to do a writing sample with both of these right here. Um, we're Here's what we're going to do. Um, I've already burned through all the ink on my 1.1 stub, uh, which is why I'm not... I don't have it in my pen right now on my giraffe. So, to be fair, because I've now gone been going through most of um, a filling on my medium Yovo nib, we'll write with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So we'll uh, we'll do a little bit of writing sample with a giraffe pen with a number six Yovo and a giraffe pen with a number six Buck from. <laughs> Two different manufacturers, well, obviously the nibs, two different manufacturers, and two different custom makers. We'll talk about that here momentarily. We're back after doing Draft Battle 2023. All right, we weren't kidding about you know my kid's laptop. This is Matthew's old laptop. I broke it. Yeah, it's kind of broken now, but you know he's got stickers that we've picked up at pen shows from like Drom Ghouls, Heinz Pens, Little Pen Designs. I told you he had that Starry Night Resins. Hey, shout out to them. And he's got uh, I love gray inks. Uh, so he literally does put these on his old laptop, and this one's broken, just sitting around. Yeah. But all right, so here are our two head-to-head -head giraffe pens. Now, I, laying here in front of us, you can see there is a difference, all right? And you can see the difference in the shape, like we pointed out, and the difference in the length, this being a Vista model and this uh, being Mike Green's. By the way, I, I did mention um, little pen designs that we see them at pen shows every so often. I don't have a formal list of all of uh, Joe's pen shows that he's going to go to, but I know I tend to see him at the Triangle Show and tend to see him in D.C. He may go to others. I don't have that handy right off. But we can tell you Mike Green has started to go to pen shows as well if you want to get a chance to meet him. And he will be at the Chicago, the St. Louis, the Pacific Northwest, and the Dallas pen shows uh, coming up this year. And um, I really would love to go to the St. Louis show because I've got some pen pals and some friends that I'd love to hook up with and get a chance to meet um, out that way. So we'll see how that pans out. So, anything you want to add? Um... I'll take that as a no. Yeah, not really. <laughs> All right, so now that we got these two here, uh, well, you've seen the dimensions on both of these pens, and uh, so you, you've seen the, the information on them. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to get my giraffe pen, my purple giraffe, with a nice Yovo nib. Now, personally, this is my personal opinion and nobody else's, I prefer Yovo over Bach. That's just my personal opinion because I've written with a bunch of them. At one point, I wasn't really, I didn't really care which one I got. And then over time, um, I've had more good Yovo nibs and I've had good Bach nibs. And Bach, you know, actually made nibs for a whole lot of companies out there that you never knew were Bach. So, little pen designs. Pen designs. This is his Vista model. And this was with a number six Yovo medium nib 
I put into it some Waterman Tender Purple. One of the things about Yovo nibs, uh, they've always been smooth. A lot of people use Yovo nibs. A lot of ma major manufacturers have their nibs by Yovo and a lot of independent make, uh, makers. A lot of custom places and people like, um, you'll find like uh, Goulet pens, Anderson pens. All their stuff is Yovo nibs and when you look at Nemesine nibs that were being put out by Nemesine uh, as well as Birmingham pens, those are all Yovo nibs. So they're all the same, just different branded. I've never really had a problem with a Yovo nib. I've never really had to tune them much. They've always been fairly good for me. I don't expect, you know, line variation a whole lot, but they've always been good, solid nibs for me, which is why a lot of people use them. So, there you go. You know, I enjoy this pen. It feels good in my hand, the size. Uh, and it, um, it's kind of reminiscent to me of the old Schaefer flat tops of the 1920s. And that's one of the things I really liked about the Vista model. And of course, you know, when I saw purple in a giraffe, I said, well, love giraffes, love purple. So, we'll go to this one. And I guess I'm going to do the writing sample. Because somebody sitting right here next to me doesn't want to do it. Why don't you want to do it? Because I'm... My, my handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> they don't teach handwriting in schools. Penmanship is not being taught in schools anymore. I'll, I'll do it. You, you sure you want to do it? Yeah. All right, fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna let uh, Matthew go do the writing sample and you know basically uh, write out some of what you see here already and uh, just go ahead and what, do is your that deal. supposed to be there? Or is that yeah, smudge? just don't worry about it. Just okay. go. So this is the um... hold it correctly. So this is the Mike Green. Yes, he's a lefty. Yep. Oh. Hold Mike, it correctly. Mike Green, and this is the um, coal coal bolt blue. Ja Now you see why he was wanting me to do it? Yep. <laughs> so it's, but it's the Mike Green Cobalt Blue Giraffe. And what does it get for a nib? Number six. How do you spell Bok? B-O-C-K. Oh, I thought it was B-O-K. Bok. Oh, shoot. Still spelled it wrong. <laughs> so, I, I kind of squeeze it in. Yeah, kind of squeeze Just write it. Just write it out. Bok. No, it says Bok nib. <laughs> oh. Oh, forgot me. D um. And you know one of the problems about being a lefty? We have to worry about getting ink all over our hand. Just because writing left to right. Yes, you do. Writing, so all you have to do is just write to where you don't have to get ink. Yep, I know. So, unless you want to write out Pilot Arosia Zuku, you can just write Con Pecky uh, if you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not that... <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not writing about... about <laughs> I don't know about to write Pilot Orochizuku, because that's just a long uh, word. Well, I would, because I, I can write, but go ahead, just <laughs> write your con, Becky. <laughs> just quit it. <laughs> Fine. Pi? Oh, he's going to do it! Oh. Uh, he has to look to see how to spell it! <laughs> <laughs> oh. eh, Zuku. Zuku. Oh, two oh, my arm. Con. Okay. Oh, dang. Con, peck, e, blue. Alright, so there you go. <laughs> and then, and then you know what? It's not, it's not as... There. All right, well, you're off. You're off screen. There it is. Anyway, so yeah. all right. Here's what I'm gonna say. Um, this this Bach nib. Oh, 
You're always having trouble. Is actually a good performing Glock nib. I've, like I said uh, before, I've had some Bach nibs that haven't been tremendous, uh, but this particular nib has been tuned ahead of time, and it uh, actually does very well. I've got no problems with this nib. I've written with Matthew's pen, uh, and just as he has, and I'm quite happy with it. So let's uh, let's just wrap this up, and so we can uh, put an end to the video. That's well, can't really see, but. That is my dad's pen next to his ink. Goes goes along pretty good. And then that's my pen next to my compacty blue. I think it was a good choice. Yeah, I mean, I didn't choose it because Mike Green wrote the letter in it. I chose it because just now, looking at some favorite blue ones. Now, let's see. It, did it stain here? Now, I don't really see... Oh, wait, it did? Just but, a tiny little bit, but I thought we got that staining off. I thought we wiped, cleaned yeah. it off. And then I had to re-ink it, because I was writing with it so much, so I went into the bathroom with a wet paper towel, and I was scrubbing down the cap. See, I even, I even tried to do that to, to one, the mine uh, that got stained. But it didn't it work. It didn't really work. Oh. Alright, so let's wrap it up. Battle Giraffe Battle 2023. So, what, what do you think? Um, um, I don't, I don't know as though there's a winner or, or a loser. There are some things I like about both pens. I don't know about you. Now, for me, I like the size of the Vista better. Wait, let me see. Personally, I like the size of the Vista. Yeah, that's it, bigger. Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit, uh, just a little bigger than Mike Green's uh, version. Yeah, and Mike, like I said, Mike doesn't have a... Around. Right. He doesn't have a, uh, a model name for this, so I can't really tell you what the model is. Matthew's but giraffe pen. Just call it Matthew's Giraffe Pen. He's got a couple other giraffes that are available on his website right now. I like the size of the Vista, probably a little better than Mike's. Um, I like uh, the giraffe pattern, obviously, on them both. Obviously, I don't see purple giraffes walking around, and I don't see blue giraffes walking around. I see brown and uh, yeah. Kind of goldish giraffes. Right. Giraffes. But, you know, so but the bottom line is, if I could have a giraffe as a pet, I would. Because I dig giraffes. They're yeah. beautiful. So, all right. I like the purple. Um, I like the size of this. For me, personally, a little bit better than Mike's. I do like the flat ends because I do like flat tops. I'm a big fan of 1920s Schaefer flat tops as some of my favorite pens. On the other hand, looking at Mike's pen... I do like the rounded ends. I think he did a really nice job yeah, rounding those off. Yeah, I like that a bit more than the flat tops. Yeah, I don't know if I like it better, but I'm it, it's different. It just adds more texture. It, it's Well, it's to me, it's not better. It's different, and I like them both. Same. So I don't have any problems with uh, the way Mike did that. It's, it's really good looking. I think Mike did some really good craftsmanship mm -hmm. on it. I like the cobalt blue. Yeah. He said... If I can remember it correctly, the exact words he used in the letter, I don't have it with me, but he said the cobalt blue was his favorite giraffe to make. Yeah, and, and I, th I think that color is stunning. I think that's a beautiful, gorgeous color. And I think Mike probably did a better job of polishing up um, his pen in the finish work um, than, uh, than Joe did on his. But I like them both. Mm -hmm. In terms of the nibs... I usually like Yovo nibs better than Bach nibs. I will tell you, this Bach nib writes really, really well. Yeah. For me, I've never heard of a nib called Bach. I don't think so. Sure before, you have. Before that, for me... Like oh, at, at son, the, you've been around me long enough. I know I, you I, know. Just, I probably heard it with you, but mo at most pin shows, they just say medium, fine. Right, but we're talking about the manufacturer of who makes it. Yeah. So, um, Bach does make some decent nibs. I've heard good stories and bad stories about nibs. I know people who are uh, manufacturers of their own pens that use Bach nibs, and they're really upset with Bach because they've had a, uh, they said they had to chuck or throw away about 10% of their nibs. Um, so, or 4 in a, four in a 100, or 4%, or well, 10 in a 100 they've had to get rid of because they've had bad nibs from Bach. Um, I personally have experienced better success with Yovo, but this nib, having been tuned ahead of time. I don't know how much that has to do with it, but you know, Kirk Spear at Penrealm did a decent job um, if, if he had to put any real work into this. So they both write really, really well. I'm going to give Mike credit for he, he takes the time and the money to make sure that you get a good nip, no matter what. I don't know what kind of work Joe puts into his, but, but it's a nice it, it writes great. The 1.1 stub that I had and this medium nib both write well. Joe, great customer service, really friendly, 
easy to deal with, and he stood behind his pen to even with something that wasn't his fault with that staining on the original, um, the, the original section. He didn't have to go through the expense and the time yeah, he of gave sending you it, and free. he, I mean, Joe did great on that, and and for that he gets great props from me, and um, hopefully he'll get some more business. I hope both guys get business from from this video. Yeah. Uh, so. Then from Larry's video too. Yeah, and for yeah, obviously I I know. Well, that's why yeah, I we found out true. we found out about Mike Green through Larry. And a lot of the calls that we've been on, and Mike's been a great guy to deal with. Yep. So uh, I'm happy with both vendors. I have a better relationship with Mike than I do with Joe, only because of the amount of interaction that we've had. Yeah. But I've never met Mike in person, and I'm sure we will get that chance eventually. Joe's a great guy, and if you get a chance to see Little Pen Designs at the Pen Show, stop by, talk to him, tell him we sent you, uh, so uh, he'll know that, hey, I've seen your stuff online. So, giraffe battle, uh, do we call it a draw? Do we have a winner? I, I don't know, though. I have a winner in my book. Um, I'm happy with mine, and I know that you're happy with yours. Yep. Out of all the pins, and that one was free for me. Out of all the free pins I could have chose on Mike's website for Larry to pay for, um, I, chose, <laughs> I chose that one just because that one appealed to me the most. So, I think you made a good choice. And I, I think that Mike Green um, is he's he's put out some really good quality for the little amount of time that he's been making custom pens. I've been impressed. Uh, little Pen Designs been around a while, and uh, I know that he's got a, a nice place up in uh, North Raleigh. Um, I, I know that he does decent work, so you can't go wrong. For me, the giraffe battle, I can't really ch pick a winner. Um, I know that I love mine, and. I Matthew, love mine. Matthew loves his. So, all right, guys, that's it. That's our video for today. Um, and you can't go wrong with either choice. Uh, get a hold of Mike Green, little and Little Pen Designs. Take a look at their website. See what's out there. See what you like. Um, either way, make sure that you tell them you heard about it here. Um, and Mike Green again, fifteen percent off all of his pens there, just for mentioning discount code Troy T R O Y. Uh, other than that, um, like, subscribe. Pass the word. All right, that's about it. I'm Troy. I'm Matthew. And, uh, hey, we appreciate you all coming in and hanging out with us. Talk to you later. Bye.